Hello and welcome back ladies and if this is your first time here my name is Jax and this is the channel where I have been sharing our four year journey through infertility, IVF, adoption, parenting, and now pregnancy. Currently I am 36 weeks pregnant with the second baby to come join our home and I mostly had what I needed but there are a few things that we loved and used so much that I'm buying again and I thought today I'd make a quick video to share with you what those key items were that were so loved and so needed for baby number one that we bought them again for baby number two. First item up relates to every new parent's number one priority and that is sleep. That's all you want in those first few months is some sleep. And I love, love, love these Halo Sleep Slack swaddles. Swaddles in general are really important, but these are so awesome because of their design. They have the zipper down the front as well as the Velcro on the side. And I found that combo was the best at keeping that little girl contained. She was such a Houdini and I needed both the zipper to keep her nice and warm and then the full strips of Velcro to like keep her uh, contained. Though some of them have just like little Velcro tabs. No, no, this is like a whole thing of Velcro. And that's what I needed to keep that little girl in check. And they come in kind of that fleecy um, cottony material and then the muslin cloth one as well for the hotter days. Um, and I have just been on the hunt for these secondhand wherever I go uh, to try to find them. And they're hard because I think people use them just as much as me and keep on using them. Next up is a diapering must have, and for us at least. And I went and bought more little diaper covers. Um, if you've been around for a while, you know that we cloth diaper and we plan to continue to cloth diaper with Kingsley. Uh, but I couldn't help myself in getting, they come in such cute patterns, guys. They come in such cute patterns. So I bought some more. Um, because a few perished along the way of, of diapering Evangeline. I know one of them got destroyed by pets. So uh, I had a, a little bit of a legitimate reason. Mostly they were just cute. <laughs> Let's be real. Mostly they were just cute. So I bought some more. Um, if you want to learn more about cloth diapering, I will leave that playlist up there. Um, but definitely for that zero to six month age, cloth diapering was so easy and great. And we're definitely going to do that again. Next one's real simple and it is burp cloths that have nice absorbent backs. I actually bought some more burp cloths um, just off Amazon that were highly rated, but they are just that icky stretchy material that doesn't have any absorbency. And I was like, no, lesson learned. You want absorbency. So you want this really nice fleece, um, cotton? Please, cotton, cotton material on the back. Um, these are obviously Hogwarts themed. Uh, these are Harry Potter themed and my mom actually made them for us. So thank you, Mama Kay. Um, but it was at my request because I wanted this really thick absorbent back. Uh, newborns just produce a lot of liquids. And while those other ones are nice and soft and whatever, this, when a baby is throwing up and you are trying to contain it, you want large and absorbent. The next one up is a must have, and I don't find this on a lot of people's lists, so I wanna share it, but is this Oogie Bear? Here, let's see if I can get it, there we go. We got a two pack with Evangeline, and I think we've lost them, cause look how tiny they are. So I bought more for Kingsley, and it is just clutch to have these stashed around. We keep them in like each of our little diaper caddies, as well as the nursery, um, but they're essentially just booger pickers, and they have two different kind of loops on the end, and I always used to think parents talking about boogers and poops and stuff like that all the time was like so unnecessary. But now I understand like it's a lot of your life with a newborn is like mitigating bodily functions. And this is so useful and I find it way more useful than the nose free day. Like I know people like swoon over that, which is great for like really loose runny noses. But for just like trying to like clear an airway, this is so much better. Um, I love these things. And finally is a feeding item and it is silicone bibs. We bought some for Evangeline um, as we started to try to wean her and I have just picked up more and more and especially as I realize like Kingsley's gonna be probably needing a bib around the still while she needs a bib. I'm like, I just need a bunch of them. And these are dishwasher safe. So when I, just to clean them, I rinse them, pop them inside out and stick them in my dishwasher and they do wonders. They catch all of the food down in their little trough and they clean up so nice. 
and it's so much nicer than any cloth bib. I honestly, I don't own cloth bibs because silicone ones are just so much more practical and easier to clean. Those were five things that I bought again for baby Kingsley because I found them so useful for baby Evangeline. If there's any must-haves that you guys have bought again or are planning to buy again in this pregnancy, let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for spending your time here with me on my channel. And until next time, ladies, keep on fighting. Mwah.